Earlier, I was speaking about Vadiraja, the Vaishnava saint, who was able to raise uh, the dead body to come back to life, so that the boy who was dead uh, was able to get married. And that he was able to do through a special chant on Lakshmi. And I want to give a little bit more information on Vajiraja. He lived 120 years, had tremendous amount of Siddhi powers, and he has a, an ashram in Karnataka called Sodhe Mat. One day there was a sculptor who was making a statue of Ganesha. And he would uh, uh, carve this statue. Statue. I think it. He was a. Uh, uh, he was making. He was making a statue out of the five metals bronze statue. He would uh, do some work and then the following go to bed and the following morning. That Ganesha statue would have turned into a Hayagriva statue. Hayagriva is a form of Vishnu with uh, a horse face. And he kept on making the statue of Ganesha for a few times and every time it turned into a Hayagriva. This was very strange and he was very frustrated, but at the same time he knew there, there was some divine play. So he had a dream and in the dream, he was told that he should uh, go to Vajiraja and hand over the statue to him. And he went to Vajiraja and handed over the statue. And Vajiraja was a great a devotee of Hayagriva. Hayagriva, as you know, is the teacher of Saraswati, the goddess of education. So he knew all the branches of the Vedas, all knowledge belonged to Hayagriva. He devoted his entire life worshipping Hayagriva. And I just want to make reference to one of his hymns in which he says, all that you need to do in order to acquire uh, total wisdom is to say three times, Hayagriva, 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 and all the knowledge will come to you. I thought that it would be good for everyone, not necessarily for students, to know about Vadi Raja and also his method of worship and also his uh, uh, special hymns, his homas of fire rituals for Hayagriva, the horse-faced Vishnu.